This is a 1970s air conditioner. Just did everything to it, cleaned it out, repainted a lot of stuff. People will ask why. This is an inefficient old air conditioner. Why the hell would you use it? Instead of one of today's modern day energy star inverter, yada yada air conditioner that has a football field wide control board in it. The answer is this one's still running and it's 50 years old. All of you guys with the modern day energy efficient air conditioners, how many have you replaced by now? Probably at least a few because they're not lasting 50 years. I'm gonna show you. Mm, uh, maybe not, probably won't be able to see it. So you're gonna have to take my word for it. But this is a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. It uses five amps and 560. 590 watts so it's pretty efficient a new unit this size 5,000 BTUs maybe we'll use a hundred watts less maybe 490 okay so yeah maybe you'll save 10 bucks on your energy bill if that much but where are the savings if you're replacing a $400 air conditioner or however many however much it is every five years versus paying that price once and it lasting 50 years or in my case getting it for free you know because no one wants these air conditioners anymore and I'm gonna show you why you should want one of these because now we have the cord plugged into this meter right here I'm going to really show you how efficient this thing actually is because while the modern day units may be pulling the 490 watts for a 5000 BTU like it says on the nameplate the values on these old units the specs they're over spec that is for a 110 degree day in full sunlight so you're not actually going to be even pulling near the nameplate value with this air conditioner but Enough said, let's turn it on. I shut the fan off behind it because what modern day air conditioner are you gonna find that is this freaking quiet? You're not. <laughs> That's on low, we'll kick it up to high. 4.5 amps. Now, I know we use LED light bulbs now, but just think about your old school light bulb that is 60 watts and pulling, I don't know, one and a half amps, because that's a pretty good example for people to understand. You're using about three or four old school standard light bulbs to run this air conditioner. And you're using probably about the same with your modern one because that 490 watts on your modern unit, that's not worst conditions, that's just average operating conditions. They rate these units differently now than they used to. EER standards are not the same as they were in 1970 versus now. Now that value might come up a little bit as the unit starts to work a little harder. But I'm telling you, and anyone with an electric background should know, this is not using a lot of electricity. We're under nameplate. It was 590 watts. We're at 520 kilowatt hour. It's been running a couple minutes. 0 0.01. Let's check out our power factor. It's 0 0.98. It's almost perfect. This is also running on a low line voltage. We're at 117. This is an old house, the wiring's old. You don't normally get 120 volts to the receptacles. If we did, this amp draw and this watt draw would be lower. So I'm giving you all the information you need to realize 
that you have been scammed by the energy star BS into buying new planned obsolescent appliances that only last five years. So they keep you buying more and more. And even if it lasts longer than that, they're gonna tell you five years from your purchase. Oh, well, there's a more energy efficient model out there now. It's better, it's gonna save you money. I'm showing you right now, it's not saving you money. 4.4 amps. 520 watts, that's on high. If we turn the fan speed down. Now we're at four amps. A fan motor is a fan motor. The new fan motors aren't any more efficient than the old ones. The compressors, a little bit, not much. And again, if I'm spending five extra dollars a month to run this versus a brand new model, which I'm proving to you, they're using the exact same amount of electricity. But if, if let's say this uses a tiny bit more, where are you saving that money if you're replacing the unit every five years? You're not, you could use this one. It's gonna go for another 50 years because I just completely restored this air conditioner because I'm a nerd that way. So if I get 100 years out of this air conditioner, let's say I paid $400 for it. I didn't. Got it for free, and you can too. Go on Facebook Marketplace. People are giving these units away. 100 years. You don't need to purchase another air conditioner, and it's using practically the same electricity as the new one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys realized you've been scammed, and hopefully... If you have one of these, you'll take it to someone who can fix it up or try and fix it up yourself. Keep it maintained, keep it clean, keep your filters clean, keep those coils clean. And I'm telling you, it's gonna last you a long, long time. You're gonna be way happier not having to make big purchases every couple years and take these heavy things out of the windows when they break. Because these units, they don't break. They just run, run, and run.